Hello, my name is Craig Klemmer and I'm a Senior Ag Economist at Farm Credit Canada. My role is to analyze trends in the macro, agriculture and agri-food markets and understand what it means to the industry. Raw materials can represent a significant share of the overall cost of food manufacturing process, sometimes as much as 80% of overall costs. However, this number can vary significantly based on the level of processing. Other costs such as energy and labor also have to be accounted for, yet the difference between the price at which manufacturers sell food products and the cost of raw materials gives a pretty good idea of trends in profitability. Profitability can be tracked using two price indices that are reported by Statistics Canada. The Industrial Product Price Index measures price changes for major commodities sold by manufacturers. This index is based on prices collected for goods sold when they leave the factory. The Raw Materials Price Index measures price changes for raw materials purchased by industries in Canada for further processing. The index includes all charges purchasers incur to bring the commodity to factory. They include transportation, net taxes paid, etc. Tracking the pattern in these two price indices reveals important trends about profitability in the food processing sector. When the raw material price index moves up, processor margins could be squeezed if the industrial price index is not moving proportionally in the same direction. The same can be said for when prices move down. Let's focus on two specific sectors. Let's first look at the chart for fruit and vegetables. One thing that stands out is how stable price of processed fruit and vegetable products has been since 2012. Between 2012 and the middle of 2015, it has climbed 2.5%. The pattern in the price of raw fruit and vegetable purchased by food processors has climbed significantly starting in early 2013. An unprecedented drought in California and the decline in the value of the Canadian dollar are two drivers behind this increase. The chart illustrates that it is difficult to pass on higher costs to buyers to offset the higher costs of raw materials. Profit margins in this case can be squeezed and about the only response of food processors to protect margins is to find efficiencies. The second chart compares pricing patterns of grains and oilseeds with prices in the bakery industry. The price of bakery products has remained fairly stable since 2012. The average price of grains and oilseeds has shown much greater volatility. A significant drought in the US sent prices of grains and oilseeds really high in North America in 2012 as available supply shrunk. Prices eventually softened, increasing profit margins of bakery products. Prices of grains and oilseeds are now on average similar to what they were at the very beginning of 2012. It is important to remember that the pricing patterns of food products versus raw materials determines profitability of food processing activities. Music